Hello and welcome. I am Adejimon Lua Tosini Madin Obeje, a 300 level law student of Babcock University and currently an undergraduate legal intern at Harlem Solicitors. Today I will be presenting and teaching a video lecture titled Open Access and Breach of Confidence Matters Arising as Relating to Copyright Law and Practices. In this session, we will be talking about copyright and what it entails, the concepts of open access, breach of confidence and confidential information, the nexus connecting it, as well as the issues that have arisen between them. We would also be preferring recommendations and solutions on this. Now, first of all, what is copyright? Copyright is one of the branches of intellectual property rights that an author or a person who has made a work under LMACSB, which stands for literary works, musical works, artistic works, cinematography, sound recording, and broadcasting. Under if a work is made and it qualifies as one of the six division, then a person could then a person could claim for copyright. As well as if the creative work made is original and is fixed in a definite medium from which it could be reproduced now or time in the future. This is what copyright entails. And copyright in Nigeria is, uh, is regulated by the Nigerian C Copyright Commission and with the Nigerian Copyright Act. Copyright in Nigeria is automatic and there is no need for registration. Now, in, the, in light of recent times and the surge and growth of the online community, we see that a lot of people are sourcing for information. A lot of users are sourcing for information online rather than they would in books and hard and hard software, more so given to the COVID-19 pandemic that restricted social gatherings. Now, this surge of accessing information on the online or the cyberspace has also impressed on copyright create on, on it has impressed on authors of creative works to put in some more protocols to ensure that the remuneration that they are supposed to get is still is still gotten what am i saying in the sense that there is some sort of balance between copyright users and authors an author needs or has his exclusive rights which give him a scope in order to limit the use the reproduction the dissemination while on the other hand the users are people who are enthusiastic or in need of the work and will go through lengths to try and obtain their documents even more if there is no fee or or fee or um a fee attached to it now where does open access and breach of confidence come in open access and breach of confidence two separate doctrines we will start with breach of confidence and to start with breach of confidence we'll be talking about what confidential information is confidential information is sensitive information that is not released or is not accessible to everyone. It's the kind of information that you need some sort of criteria or need some sort of authorization to get or to get through to you. There are majorly three types. There is the trade secret, there is the government secret, and there is personal or private information. Trade secret on its own is a, as another type of intellectual property right in which business owners, business keepers have or request for the right to protect the unique or the the secrets of their trade what makes their trade distinct and stand out for example the coca-cola formula the coca-cola formula the starbucks formulas are examples of trade secrets the reason why many attempts have been made to try and repl replicate it but has not succeeded so far is because that secret has been well kept now under the now under copyright if such recipe has been you know is original and it has been fixated then that means that there is copyright protection that persists in that now for government secrets this will be the battle strategies the information the um, different anything that the government sees as confidential and has to 
keep only to a select few of authorized personnel who qualify as government secrets. Now, for government secrets, the uh, the person such as the civil servants or the army officials have the official secret act which is supposed to which has provisions to make them tight-lipped about the processes and about the secret things that they encounter as they work imagine Nigeria's secret is being sold abroad to China or to other countries as um, for for um, our our information is going to be deadly and is going to be catastrophic on our economy this is why another reason why there are certain information has to be kept has to be kept a secret now personal and or private information are information that is personal and private to you and I so my BVN my account number my account details or anything that I have that I deem is too personal or is too is too sensitive to me to share to others would be seen as will be seen as a personal or private information so if I'm working on a manuscript for maybe a book and I don't want to share it yet it's it's, it's my personal and private information now these are the types of confidential information and argument for confidential information is that when when information is kept in confidence or when there are certain criteria you have to obtain in order to assess information it makes information valuable it allows for better quality control because you know that it's you really want it and you went for it it allows for um, it allows for remuneration for the artist so that they can reproduce more works it allows for authenticity authenticity and um, original document in the sense that if you maybe um, subscribe to JSTOR or LexisNexis, you know that the information that you're getting from there has been screened through and is most likely current up to date and will give great statistic information. Now for open access, open access will be like the other side of the coin. Open access argument is saying that um, information should be available without cost or fee barriers or without cost or fees requirements what open access is is a sort of a platform or a pool whereby information has been deposited and for 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 users to for users to get that information there is there's no need for them to have to pay for it so a common example of open access would be open source licenses and would be um, the common so now open source licenses are the types of are um, they relate more to softwares and to software projects while for open like for the commons the commons is a is a common platform where people can deposit where people can deposit knowledge and this knowledge you can take it you can alter it as you want and if sometimes there are requirements that you have to credit the first auto or the original auto or sometimes there are no requirements like that it's just take it do whatever do what you want to want for it do what you want to do to it and then argument for open access is that it allows for better sharing and better resource allocation so wikipedia could is open access you know you could go there you could access the information take what you need and that open access allows for persons who cannot afford, example, people in low income countries, people in developing countries, or people who just can't afford it, they are able to get the information straight from the net as they wish. Now, these two, these two sides are clashing as to which one should support or which one should be seen as the best for copyright laws and policies. In the end, we believe that we believe that there is a need or there are times where there is a need for information to be kept private because of the sensitivity and because of the things that are contained in it. However, according to Section 6 of the Copyright Act, where the author has the right to do as he wishes and to state what he wants to be done with his creative work, the author can give the the author can give the the go ahead for you to use the information without having without requesting anything in return we would also advise that for open source in order to be sure of where you're getting your things from for op from open source there should be open source journals 
that are screened and scrutinized. So this is our short lecture on open access and breach of confidence. To learn more about copyright, please check us check our website at www.linkedin www.harlemsolicitors.com or check us at LinkedIn at Harlem Solicitors. Thank you and have a great day.